In this video, we are going to look at how to multiply and divide fractions. Multiplying fractions is arguably the easiest method of the four main functions when dealing with fractions, so we will look at this first. To understand why we multiply fractions together in the way we do, we first need to understand multiplying a fraction by an integer. Consider 2 times 4 ninths. Because basic multiplication is the same as repeated addition, this is the same as 4 ninths plus 4 ninths. From the diagram, we can see that this gives us the fraction 8 over 9, because we have 8 ninths. Now let's look at multiplying by a unit fraction. A unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of 1 and an integer denominator, such as 1 half, 1 quarter, and 1 tenth. Consider 1 half multiplied by 3 quarters. As we can see, if we fill 3 quarters of the grid yellow, we fill 6 boxes of the 8. When we fill 1 half of the same grid blue, we fill 4 boxes. Then our overlapping area is green. And we have 3 of these. Therefore, the shaded area is 3 over 8. So this must be the product of 1 half and 3 quarters. To therefore multiply two fractions together, we must multiply the numerators and the denominators by themselves. Have a go at these questions here. How did you do? To solve 2 and 1 half multiplied by 2 and 3 quarters, we first need to convert to an improper fraction. So the question becomes 5 over 2 multiplied by 11 over 4. This gives us 55 over 8, which needs to be converted back to a mixed number, 6 and 7 over 8. Now for dividing. To divide a fraction by another fraction, we use a method called keep change flip. This method is based on the knowledge that multiplying by 1 half is exactly the same as dividing by 2. As such, dividing by 2 thirds is the same as multiplying by 3 over 2. This is because they are reciprocals, or numbers that have a product of 1. So, to divide, we use keep change flip. This means that we keep the first fraction the same, we change the divide symbol for a multiplication symbol, and we flip the second fraction upside down. We then multiply the fractions together as before. Have a go at these. Remember, for a mixed number, you need to convert it to an improper fraction. How did you get on? Remember that you will need to convert improper answers back into mixed numbers for your answer. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.